So what are we going to do about your research? What's your plan? Um, hand over what I've got and hope for the best. Why don't you forget the magnesium angle? See what else you've got. I don't have anything else. Uh, but you have all the patient data. Ah, uh, I'm not sure I'm good enough to spin those results. I'm good enough. That's very kind of you, but even if you really wanted to, I, I don't have any of the information with me. Or I have a few spare ideas kicking around. You want to give me one of your ideas? Those Kendall people look pretty eager to see something. Let's throw them a bone. Um, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but isn't that kind of unethical? If I'm happy for you to put your name on one of my theories, then why should anyone else have a problem? Why should anyone else know about it? Hmm? She was there to remind me. She was the one that kept me trapped. And there was no escape. So one day I grabbed her. I forced her to look me in the eyes. I used the drug on her. So she'd forget me. So she'd finally leave me alone. I knew what I was doing was selfish, but I knew the next day I wouldn't remember it. And that was it. It was the last I saw of her. And that's why you're here. After I wiped her memory, I left her alone. Did what I usually do. Hoping that this time it would be a more permanent fix. Sorry if I offend you. I just learnt your chopstick rule this morning. <laughs> oh, Doc Sun. Oh, hey, I'm, I said I'm sorry. Ken, translate. No, please come back. Ken, I can get a knife and fork instead. So, uh, are you uh, gay then? I. I don't know what I am. I think when I was younger I used to like girls. But this kind of just happened. When I was 23, I came to New Zealand on a holiday. A couple of weeks into my trip, I met this older gentleman handsome man. We got talking. I was lonely. Hadn't made any friends here. So we had a couple of drinks. He invited me back to his hotel room. I just kind of went along with it. Jingus. Oh, we spent the next couple of weeks together just toying around the place. But he had his family. I had no visa. So eventually, we went our separate ways. But we stayed in contact. Every couple of years, we'd go to some exotic, or if you like, erotic <laughs> location. And a couple of years ago, I found out he was quite sick. Cancer. Proper cancer. Not of the fingers. So I came back to New Zealand in the hope that I could be with him again. But 
His family wanted to be around him. He never told them about me. And then in June this year, he passed away. <laughs>